Hi, Rimondas Petrauskas here, and in this video I want to show how to copy trades from selected MetaTrader Master accounts. So in this video we will be specifically speaking about three parameters, which is Signal Provider ID, copy from these master accounts, and the third one, list of specific master accounts. So what is the Signal Provider ID? Signal Provider ID or SPAD for short, allows you to create individual groups of trades. So you kind of set which server EA or client EA belongs to what group. So we can set all these, you know, MetaTrader accounts you have into different separate groups and this way tell which client EA can see uh, which server EA and so on. So for example, if you set a MetaTrader account to have to kind of to use SPAD one, it will only see other MetaTrader accounts with the same SPAD of one. So to speak, it will not see SPAD of two or SPAD of three, and so on. So by default, all MetaTrader accounts operate with SPAD of one. And this means if you never change this parameter, so you will have all the MetaTrader accounts in the same group. Now, of course, this um, matters only for all the MetaTrader accounts within the same computer. So if you have SPAD of one on one VPS or computer and you have SPAD of two on another uh, computer, so those will be totally different computers So and they do not interact with the, with each other in any way. So basically it just works kind of uh, in the in that same one computer environment. You, know? uh, you can assign only one SPD group for each server EA and client EA. So this is important to know because you cannot set the same client EA or server EA to operate in two or more uh, different signal provider IDs groups. Yeah. Um, but if you want to do that, there is a kind of advanced um, kind of workaround and uh, you can have multiple instances of server EA or client EA running on the same MetaTrader account with different SPAD numbers. Just make sure to use unique magic number for each client EA on the same MetaTrader account. So in this example, you can have uh, MetaTrader account, um, like first master account operate for SPAD1 and SPAD2 and the second master account operate only for SPAD3, for example, you know. But this kind of advanced setup, we are not covering this in much detail in this video. Now we go for the uh, second parameter, which is copy from these master accounts. And this is a selection of two options. And you can select to copy kind of from all uh, master accounts or from selected uh, master accounts. Uh, so basically this parameter allows you to select which signal providers or ma master accounts to follow. It means that you can set your client EA to copy trades only from a certain master accounts if you need that, of course. By default, client EA is set to follow all master account with an active server EA and of course if they are operating in the same SPAD group. Um, now for example if you want to receive trades only from master accounts 1, 2 and 3 you need to set list of specific master accounts which is the third parameter we're speaking of and you simply list master accounts and separate them by comma so we can just put one master account number or you can put several master account numbers in there. Uh, just make sure to separate them by comma. And of course this can contain only numbers um, because obviously there are no letters in Met MetaTrader account numbers. Yeah. Now let's look at the example. So in this example we have like three master accounts and five client accounts. So as you can see, the client account number one is set to use signal provider ID of one and is set to use 
uh, like to copy from all master accounts. So in this case, list of specific master accounts parameter is ignored, so it doesn't matter. So I didn't even list it there. And it will copy trades from the first master account and the second master account because both of these master accounts are within the same signal provider ID group of one. You can see there SPD1, SPD1, and this client SPD1 as well. And it's set to copy from all accounts within the SPD1. Now, if we talk about client account number two, it's set to use the same SPAD1, but it's set to copy trades only from selected accounts, which is account number two. So in this case, it will ignore all the other MetaTrader accounts from SPAD1 and then only follow this one which is master account number two. Now, client account number three is also set to copy from SPD1, but this one is set to copy from selected accounts, and I've listed account number five. Now, we don't have master account number five in this example, so it means this client will not follow any trades from anywhere. It will just wait for the master account 5 to appear within the SPD1. The client account number 4 is set to copy from all the accounts within the SPD number 2. So we have master account number 3 operating in the SPD2 environment, so it will copy trades from this master account. And lastly, the client account number 5 it's set to copy trades from selected number uh, from selected accounts, which is account number two, but in the SPD environment three, which doesn't have any master accounts in our example, so it will not copy any trades as well. Uh, but once you know, should you add the master account two in that group, uh, it will immediately uh, start copying the trades. Now let's switch to the exact uh, kind of MetaTrader account and look at these uh, parameters, yeah? So one more thing to mention is that when I talk about the master account numbers there for this parameter, list of specific master accounts, it's the master account number that should go in there. So let's switch to my MetaTrader and I'm talking about this master account number or you know like there this is the account number that you log into metatrader account this is your metatrader account number yeah okay we're clear with this one <laughs> so th there's a section of copy trades from and those are the two parameters and here we have copy from these master accounts we have two options all accounts with active server in this pc or selected accounts, comma separated list below. Yeah. So if we select all accounts, then the second parameter is ignored, so it can have any value. Client here won't even look at it. But if we choose selected accounts, then it will look at this value and see what accounts we're trying to copy. Yeah. So in this case, we have to put exact MetaTrader account number from, from all those master accounts we want to follow. So we can put one master account number or few numbers, just separate them by comma. So I hope this video was helpful for you and I see you in other ones. Bye.